Hello, I'm Deverick. I'm the Monroe Catholic football team sideline reporter, and today I'm here with... Coach Keith Miner, head coach of the Monroe Catholic Mariners. Okay. Um, why'd you become the head coach? Why, why do you like coaching? You know, uh, coaching is the purest form of teaching. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to, to touch young men in a way that'll last with them for a long time. We really believe it, it, coaching is like a calling. It, it gives you the ability to have these uh, young men form bonds that last a lifetime. Yeah. Um, I just have a few questions um, uh, written down for you today. So wh uh, what was your reaction to how the Mariners performed during the Saturday night, Saturday night light uh, jamboree? Uh, I thought we did well. I thought there's things we got to work on. We got to work on our composure, learning that when, when you're one of the better teams, how to handle that emotionally is, is a skill set, just like anything else. And you have, and when you are not used to it, you have to learn to adapt and, and use emotions positively uh, when you're faced with someone who's trying to test you. Okay. Um, can you explain why is it so important to, be, uh, to bring the Mariners and the Bulldogs to the center of the field when emotions ran um, high and things got uh, chippy? Well, it's important for everybody to remember, it's just football, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in the end, it's, it's a game. It's something that if you're lucky and as an adult, you get paid to apply, play a child's game. Yeah. And I want to make sure everybody understood what the main thing was. You have to keep the main thing the main thing in life. Yeah. And, and we want to make sure that it was, it was about football, not about some other stuff, because in the end, we want these kids to be safe and have a great time. Okay. What's the most important thing about football? I think it, 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 it reveals character. Yeah. You know, it lets people know what type of person they are. Okay. You know, if you're a person who likes to work hard, you do well. If you're a person who likes to run fast, you can do well. I feel football is the most democratic, uh, small d democratic sport uh, in the world because regardless of your build, regardless of your skill set, you can still give something to the team that's that's valuable. Yeah. Um, what should uh, Mariner Nation expect to see um, with this year's team? I think we're going to be pretty good this year. Um, it's going to be a work in progress, but we have an opportunity to do something because these guys have put in a lot of time this summer. We've been lifting weights since February. We've been running since uh, January. So these guys have put in the work, and I think the work's going to pay off. Okay. Um, how are you preparing this team uh, for success this Friday versus St. Mary's? Again, keeping the main thing the main thing, right? We got to come out here, tackle well, block well, mm -hmm. run fast, hit hard, and have a good time. If we play with joy, we're fine. Uh, and that's our secret sauce. We play with love, we play with joy. Yep. We come out here to have a good time and play with each other. You're only guaranteed 10 football games a year. If you get more, you earn it. And you have to take every opportunity to choke everything out that you can in those 10 opportunities. Okay. Um, I understand several of our coaches um, are St. Mary alumni. How does this impact your coaching strategy? As, as a St. Mary alum, class of 89, you know, it's always great to go against your, your former team. Uh, but in the end, it's not about me, it's about the guys on the field, right? Yeah. The old cliche. So we just want the kids to come out here, play well, play hard, and everything work out. Okay. Um, did you get to see much of the Junior Varsity Jamboree? If so, yes. what did you think of their performance? Uh, future's bright. Future's bright. If they keep their heads on straight, work hard, mm -hmm. uh, Moreau football is going to be good for a while because those guys are they, they're, they're a spicy little bunch. Lots of talent. They may be small in size, but they play with, with the heart of a lion, and, and we're excited to see what they can bring to us in the future. All right. Who were um, the standout offensive and def defensive players for you for the uh, Jamboree? Uh, you know, there were so many uh, young men that did well. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jaden Bryant, he was our leading rusher. Mm -hmm. Peyton Collins did well, both running and, and, and catching the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our quarterback, Jeremiah Charles, was excellent. Uh, defensively, Dalpa is, is a young man who's going to be a yeah. special player. Uh, moving down the line. Then you have Miles and you have Lance Mitchell and Hassan. Yep. Eric, you know, I can go on down the line and I don't want to leave anybody out, but I think more importantly, as a team, they play well together. Probably the most important question for a coach, why did you become a coach? What made you, you know, sign up to be a coach? As, as I said earlier, it's an opportunity to develop young men. Yep. You have, you have uh, there's very few callings that you have where you can actually change people's lives. I have friends 
who made a lot of money doing different things in the yeah. tech world and the business world. And all of them are envious of me say, man, I wish I did what you did because you have fun and you get to, you know, change people's lives and, and leave fingerprints on them for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Um, you have anything to tell the Mariners, you know, the people who are going to come watch the games? Hey, we're excited for, you, uh, for, for Mariner Nation to come out and support us. We're going to have a good team this year. And Friday night, I guarantee it's going to be very entertaining. Go Mariners. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.